That's your payment? Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm not doing this for free. All right, go cut it. <laughs> go cut it for daddy. Good morning. Welcome to the Max. If you're not subscribed to the Max, please do at this time. Push subscribe, ring the bell, because there's always something going on here at the farm. As you can see, it is early, early, early. It's actually program 5.45 to 6. They like just came on. I am actually got my coffee. It's freezing out here for all you northern folks that watch us. Um, don't make fun of me, but it's really cool. So we actually have got to run some barbar bar today. We've got uh, two strands I already ran me and Aiden ran in at dark last night. So we got it done and they look phenomenal. Let me put my coffee down. So you see, I'm running a five strand barbed wire. You see it going through there. Looks really good. Very pleased with how tight that is. So we've got to walk down to our tractor. Our tractor's got all our tools. Um, I'm gonna keep my coffee here. The tractor way, I really, we had a way that we were gonna use our winch for our, uh, our ranger but our winch is not on here and i don't know if our ranger is strong enough without our winch so we're going to use the tractor uh a, a, work, a friend of mine that works with us said hey why don't you use your tractor and pull past your pull post so i was like you know what that's a pretty good idea so uh, we did that on these first two strands it actually worked really good so we're gonna get started this morning uh first i'll get a drink of coffee and uh enjoy the beauty of a good cool fall morning thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video today Now it's time to start. All right, to start our fence on our third row, basically you remember you're also, you're inside, this is the inside fence, so you always put yours on that side. Now, to get your measurement on your size or your five strand, use your tool. That measures you, it tells you exactly where you need to go. I always take it, use that in, pop it, and I know exactly where I am supposed to be. So we're gonna anchor this in. And that way this will be ready to pull. And we're gonna use a basic barbed bar puller. And I will show you kind of how we do it from here. It's chilly, I got my cover, my coveralls, my, my bibs on, cause it is chilly this morning. But man, it's a beautiful, beautiful fall day. I'm ready to get this fence done cause we're gonna bring a lot more of our beef cows here, which I'm very, very excited to do. Okay, so we start off putting, we double wrap this and put two staples in it. So that way we know it's tight. Basically, we start walking. You see, this is our, our uh, roller. So we use a barbed wire wall roller. So what we do is we, of course, turn it like it's supposed to be. And then basically just roll it. Just like that. That helps you not have to carry it, not to put it on a spindle of any sort. And it just rolls that way. Now, let me turn it back over and I'll show you what we're gonna do now. All right, so for instance, we got it right here. Now, you see we have our second pull post. Now, this one, I'm not gonna anchor it in right here. I'm just gonna simply get it to where it's got it. So for instance, I'll put it there and then just guide it. Won't tighten it down until we pull everything tight. But uh, that way when we roll it, we've already got the set up here. We'll put it down there, do the same thing, guide it into other pull posts, and then basically use our tractor or in our pulley to pull it tight. Then we'll anchor everything down. Then we actually put it to the uh, T-post. So T-post is last. Remember, T-posts are nothing more than just to hold it off the ground and to stabilize it. Your, your power and your support is your wood post. That's why it's so important to have good pull posts, good wood posts, and make sure you're anchored really good in the ground. Okay, so we've got our barbed wire all right here. It's pulled, not tight, just laying on the ground. So we're now gonna attach it to the pulley so we're gonna set you right there all right we got our, our bar bar roller right here we're just gonna get a little slack because there's no point in it being bogged down all right that's got plenty of slack you're gonna take your let me take this off so you see it this is a puller just unlocks like that you wrap it inside I always put mine next to bar but basically gets it tight Hook it next to your pulley. Now you can normally put this on a pull post or uh, to the side, but I'll be honest with you, we have ours on our tractor. So let's get this thing tight. I'll turn the tractor on. They'll pull it 
and then we'll start getting it close to getting it on the post. So I took and put some tension on it. So now we'll use our pulley to actually get it tighter. So what we'll do is anchor this post first here, like that. And then basically you see how it's just kind of dragging the ground. That's okay. You want a little slack. You don't want your light uh, line to be so tight to pop. So then we'll use our crank and crank it actually tighter once we get it on the pull post. So let's get in the pull post uh, on the guider pull post like that. And then we'll attach it to that pull post as we get a little tighter. Pulled it, got it tight, snug it down right here. Double wrapped it right there. And then pulled the last post here. So so now we're gonna start back at the very front. You do a little walking when you're doing fencing. But now we're gonna start back at the front up here, way up here, and actually get our barbed wire on our T-post with our connectors. Now I'll show you how we do that. We use two tools. You can use either one. The one I got offline, that's kind of like a handy dandy easy tool, actually is a handy dandy easy tool. So we'll show you kind of what it looks like and how we measure to get our lines on five strand. But first coffee. back to fence okay so we're by the fence here uh, let me get my connectors. all right so you have your you need this tool this is a barbed wire fencing tool you can use it for hammer wire cuts uh, you know hitting your your uh, or pulling your your uh, connectors around uh, I call it a ping I don't know what it is it just pings it you know that's a good southern term so basically that's what you need for sure that helps you measure so wherever it hits is wherever it needs to go. So it needs to go right there. So we're good to go there. Now, this tool is the coolest tool in the world. This is a fence, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it, fastener. This is a fence fastener. So, you know, you put your, your hooks around and basically it's gonna look like that. So you've got it, I'm sorry, I'm gonna show you. Where it's just gonna sit on this side and look like that. Now. Let's see if I can set you right here and let you look. You take this tool right here, stick that little circle right in that hole and spin it around. Just like that. Now, that sucker is tight right there. It's not going anywhere. Makes it so easy when you're using that tool and uh, saves you a lot of time when you're doing it. One more uh, tip. <laughs> Unless you have Aiden is doing homeschooling right now, so he can't be out here to help me quite yet. And neither can I my daughters. But unless you have about six hands, you need an apron. I carry an apron, and that way I've got, you know, my anchor bolts, my staples, my hammers, my tools, and also my fasteners, Tipo fasteners. So that way I'm not reaching around, not trying to haul it all. It makes it where I can get stuff done a little bit quicker. So make sure wear an apron, wear a hardware uh, belt wear something that you can carry a lot of your supplies in because you're going to need it. Whoo, it is starting to warm up a little bit. I'll show you what I got down there. Let's move them first. Come on, Allie. Come on, Jojo. Let them go some fresh grass. There's not much grass growing right now, but if that's the rest of spring grass. She's trying to get to the rye grass fields over here that we're getting in. Good girl. Good girl. She's getting big pregnant. She's finally starting to really show she's bred. Uh, we'll show you, I got that whole other side where the, the tractor is. All that side right there is done. Just the front, not all the sides, but the front is. And three strands of this is done. So we've got to now put, uh, put the little fasteners on the T-post. And then we'll start with the last two rows here. And then what we're gonna do is start doing the sides of both on perimeter and then start up the middle. So it's going a lot quicker than than I anticipate, especially since I'm doing it by myself. Aiden and mommy and the girls will come on out soon. But as of right now, it's going pretty good. You know, when we had this come along, you know, we've set this up, we've got our pulley. When we ratchet it down, remember, you don't want to just all of a sudden just tighten it as much as you can. Because you, there's times you need to just kind of walk back, adjust it, put your, um, your line nails in on your pull post. Like for instance, now that we've got it tight enough, we could probably go ahead and put that, that one in there, but we're gonna go on and check. But see, you just need to make sure it doesn't get in the bind, because if you get too tight, and you got it in the bind on the other lines, or it's too tight and it's hooked to the other line, you won't be able to adjust it. So make sure as you're going, I, I, I usually walk back three or four times. I'll tighten it to a point where it's on the post, 
you know, and then I could come back. And then, of course, it's way too loose right now. That's okay, though. I just want to make sure that it's not caught with anything. And it's looking good. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and ratchet a little bit more. All right, on my last ratchet. So I've, I've stuck this in. I mean, it's so tight, it's not moving. So now we go back and hammer all of them in. I just hammered this one in here. There, so this is tight. I mean, this is not going anywhere. Now, let me show you this though, because we have not got the T-post clips on yet, well, you still move a little bit, but see, once you put that clip on there, it's not moving. So that's our next step. And then on to the last wire on this side. Open. Whoa! What do we say, y'all? 